because the postman came. The postman came and dropped off Pilaf's new babies. Pilaf. Pilaf just loves buying new makeups. She, she just, she has no self-control. And does she regret it? No. But Pilaf is now officially a proud owner of her first ever Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And is today not a glorious day. But that means for this video, Pilaf is going to be opening these on camera so that you get the full shenanigans, the full chaos, the full experience. And then Pilaf is going to put a marvelous looking makeup look on her face. And we are all just going to have such a glorious time. A little giggle, a fancy little chortle because we are a fancy little goddess and just, oh, it is going to be so much fun. So without further ado, with all of that said and done, Let's just get on to the makeup. So Pilaf's whole thought process with this is, wow, I'm going to be so incredibly poor afterwards. But I will regret nothing. So I decided to get something that I would use again, but also can have a lot of fun with and just try and mix the best of both worlds in the words of Hannah Montana. So I have myself an eyeshadow palette. I have myself a skin frost and I have myself, I think this is the blur. The velour liquid lipstick. So, ah, I get to, I get to, I get to open them. Let's go with the smallest one first. So I decided, oh, I just, I so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Sir, would you please open? I just, I'm, I'm so excited that I'm like shaking right now and like it is not opening very, very well because Pilaf's coordination decided to not exist. Um, okay, so I decided to go with this color called Weirdo because one, accurate. Two, I've been doing like black lips on a lot of my looks lately and I've been doing them with black body paint. So this is going to save myself a lot of stress and a lot of heartache and just... Oh, they look so good. Oh, I just... Oh, oh, they look... They look so nice. I have not even put it on my face and it just... And it applies so much better than the black body paint on my lips. Peel off. <laughs> there is the normal way to do things and the peel off way to do things. My life is going to be so much easier. I'm just, I'm so excited. Okay, peel off. <laughs> Calm down. And then the highlighter, which is the next biggest package. Save the best till last. That kind of thing, yes? Okay, so then the skin frost I have gone with is called princess cut because Pilaf is a cute little princess. She just wants to be treated with like sparkly things and cupcakes like all of the time. Now I want a cupcake. Pilaf, stop saying foods! Okay, so I've gone with princess cut and this is so big. What? You are so large. I, I love it. You are enormous. This is almost as big as my face. Wait, I just, it's bigger than my hand. <laughs> it's bigger than my palm. What is that? Okay, that's amazing. There is, there is so much product in this. Hello, open, excuse me, eat. <laughs> I love buying new makeups. Oh. oh, 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 I'm going to have so much fun with you. I just, I cannot put you on my face yet though. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. We have to put you on when we do the look, but that is enormous, I just, no, don't, don't buy the palette. I don't really treat myself too often and this is, this is a very nice treat. Um, what does it say? Vegan, cruelty free, you better glow, bitch. Ooh, a little bit saucy with that one. Long lasting extreme beauty, the definition of highlight on fleek. The definition of beauty goddess is about to attack our face with this one. Oh, and then we get to go on to the big one. Which one is it going to be? Because there are so many palettes that I could have chosen, but of course, peel off being peel off. Everyone already knows what kind of palette she went for. She went for the one with the most amount of color. I just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, it just, even like the outside of it looks so nice. I just, I just, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I've seen pictures, but this is, so much better in person. I just, oh, I just <laughs> I'm so happy. 
this is a birthday present to myself. My birthday is not until like December, but at the same time, like it is my birthday present to myself. And happy birthday to Pilaf! Happy birthday to Pilaf! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It's just so beautiful. Okay, I just, I just, oh, that blue, oh, that other blue, oh, that orange, oh, all of the colors. Okay, I just, I have to start swatching. I'm sorry. With anyone that gets a new makeup palette, you already know that as soon as you see it, or like you see it in store, but you cannot get this one in store in Australia, uh, you have to, you, you have to swatch it. So, ah! Ah! look at that yellow, look at the orange. <gasps> oh! juiced panic attack I am going to go wash this off so I do not smudge it on anything but at the same time I have never been so happy in my life I just I love buying new colors I like buying new makeups and this was a perfect excuse to do it and I just <laughs> they are so beautiful <laughs> Okay, so now the peel off has hit her little bit of a moment, we are actually going to start with the makeup. So just in case Mr. Star actually manages uh, to find this video, one, I'm ever so sorry, and two, uh, I want to make sure that he is not aware that I have any sin on my face. So we are just going to cake our goggles with some sin stick. Cover up that sleep deprivation. Cover all oh, that went to my actual eyeball. This is why I should... Oh! work with mirror but it is okay because jawbreaker palette comes with a mirror oh gosh oh gosh okay i'm going to brave opening my eye okay it went in the vicinity of my eyeball but not in my actual eyeball <laughs> so now that that is done oh i get to mm, i get to move on to the colors so i've had this idea for a makeup look for a while and um i just some of the colors in this they're so pretty that i want to experiment with them so i'm going to experiment with them with this look that i have in my head that kind of thing yes so i'm so excited because we are going to take a little trip to we old scotland and i'm going to try and do a tartan pattern eyeshadow look and is it going to work out? I have absolutely no idea. Is it going to look good? I have absolutely no idea. But at the same time, like, we are still going to have fun. So I am going to go with this cute little pastel pink, which is called Bubblegum. And I'm just going to get that on a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that oh, everywhere. Oh, look at that pig, man. Now that that beautiful bubblegum pink is on. And I just, I could go out like this. I don't even care. I, I, I already look fabulous. Okay, so most of tutorial today is going to be using little, little brushes. Where is my other little brush? I have, ah! Well, I have one. So most of the tutorial today is going to be using little, little brushes. That way we get the amount of detail to the look that we want. Because you do not want someone sitting there being like, Oh, peel off. That is a nice smudge you have there. And me be like, I am a goddess, know your place. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some scene stick on the back of my hand. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little brush. And I'm going to put some scene stick on top. And then I'm going to try and do straight lines. That is going to be difficult for me. I, um, I I did not pass the grade of year one. Okay, Pilof, we can do this. We are an adult. Okay, we are going to go for right eye first because she is the behaving baby cakes. We're just going to dab it up until we have kind of like the outline and then we will fill her in properly. And then we are just going to repeat that process until it is all over our lids. This is going to be one of my more time-consuming looks is what I just realized I always think to myself oh I could do this in like an hour 
After finishing right eye and moving on to left eye, I have figured out the best technique to do this. You start at the top and move down, rather than start at the bottom and move up. But oh well, bad things happen to good people. Now that scene stick is on and I am starting to look like a bubblegum beetle juice, I am now going to go in with the next color shadow. And I am going to go for this one called Soaked. And I know what you're thinking, peel off. That is a dark blue. And I am very aware of this. And I know that this could go terribly wrong but at the same time go big or go home so i'm getting this little one it's, it's called a detailed shader i don't know and then i'm just going to dip 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 dip, dip and then i'm going to pick 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 oh hello vibrance oh baby cakes oh. now peel off is not going to lie to you at the moment i look I look busted. I look I look mental. I look busted. It it is not I do not look ooh la la stunning. I do not I do not look mm, but that is okay because even though in my head I am like is this actually a good idea? You will never know unless you finish the look. And then at least if it does not look great, you know how to improve for next time. Makeups is all about learning from mistakes and then just practicing 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 the more practicing until you are a makeups goddess now that the vertical lines are done and we have some cute colorful little pillars on our eyelids we are just going to do the horizontal ones oh peel off peel off we struggle sticking between the lines why are we deciding to do a makeups look with so many lines today that is a good line excellent okay so we we just have to keep keep going with it and keep adding the pigments and just keep keep going right eye you are doing so good baby cakes i am so freaking happy with you you are doing so well left eye come on we got to keep up the momentum yeah it is a relay we are in a relay race okay we are only as strong as our weakest you are always my weakest now that the crisscross is happening on our eyelids and look she still looks she still looks pretty busted, I'm not going to lie, but it is all a part of the process. You have to trust Pilof. She is a makeup goddess and she would not lie to you. So now it is on to more lines. I have a wing liner brush and I could use the lipstick, the weirdo lipstick that I bought, but I don't want to waste it. I, I just don't want to waste it. So I have a wing liner brush and a little pot of face paint and I am going to start drawing little, little lines, little little lines on top of the outsides of the blue so here we go little little lines peel off that is a little line excellent okay next little line okay that one had less control come on we can do this I feel like i'm starting to go cross-eyed going over this Okay, that one was an absolute train wreck. What are you doing? That level of stress is now thankfully over, so... Ooh, I can breathe. Ooh, tranquility. Waterfalls. Puppies. With candy. So now that that is done, I'm going to get the shade Delicious. And I'm just going to put that on the parts where the blue overlaps. So that those little squares are going to be nice and dark. Because if colors overlap, they would they would get more pigmented. There is method to my madness, I swear. So I'm just going to add little bits of dark color in some of the squares where the blues cross. Where they crazy cross. Deliciousness is now on our little lid. So now I'm just going to add some more stress because like, why not just keep going? Because like we had so much fun the first time we were just drawing little lines on our eyes. So this time I'm going to get a white body paint and I'm going to be putting some white lines in between the pinks. I, I know I'm going to regret this decision, but peel off never thinks ahead. And P. Love doesn't learn. There's a helicopter in the background. You are such an inconvenience, sir! I feel as though this is the definition of insanity. I feel as though my eyes are just about to like split in half. I'm just like staring at these tiny little lines so much. Okay. Just that kind of 
We are just having that kind of a moment. Okay, all that time, all that effort, all of that patience is finally starting to pay off. Now that the pattern is on, that is the hardest part done. That is, that is all of the stress, all of the... Oh! Out of the way. And back to the fun. Okay, so I'm now just going to clean it up. So I want to have like a nice crisp line to go with this nice crisp looking tartan pattern. Just get yourself some makeups remover and some fuzzy boys. And we are just going to clean up the bottom so that the scene stick doesn't start mixing with anything. Because peel off scene stick is so pale that if you start mixing some shadows into the stick, it just, it just, it becomes a time. It becomes a time and then suddenly you're like, why is my scene stick gray? Why is scene stick not doing its job? Then just to continue the cleanup, I'm just putting some more scene stick under my eyes. And then I'm also definitely going to line up the scene stick with my scene stick brush and then buff it out after. I just want it to be nice, crisp, like some chips. Oh, now I want chips. Stop saying foods. We are just like a hungry, hungry hippo that just likes to put on some makeups. Now that we are looking oh so clean, so sharp, so crisp, I'm going to do my bottom lid. So I'm going to get soaked once again and I'm just going to put her on a smudge brush and then I'm just going to line her on my lower, like pretty much on top of my lashes. Kind of like I'm trying to dye them a different color, but like it is eyeshadow. It is not eyelash dye, so it is not going to work that way. Then I'm just going to get a chubbier brush and get this one called Brain Freeze. Ooh, like you were having a slushy. And then I'm just going to buff her out underneath. Oh, that is a lot of powder in my eyeball. Peel off. Okay, the heavy handedness really needs to cease, baby cakes. Cease and desist! Now that our bottom lids are looking oh so pigmented, so happy they get to match the whole entire look, we have to and we cannot forget to give a pop of color, a pop of oh in our inner corner. And we are going to take some wise words from the icon Shakespeare. When applying highlighter to the inner corner, one must pack it on. So we are just going to make sure there is a good packing of jawbreaker on our inner corner so that our enemies are like i cannot see that kind of thing now that eyeshadows are on i'm just going to move on to the last line that will be a part of this look i'm clapping for emphasis because i'm so excited to not be drawing any more lines on my eyes but we are going to go in for a good crisp wing liner so let us have a bit of an intimate moment if you are not new here hello baby cakes nice to have you back and you already know what you have to do cross your fingers your toes your arms your legs any limb that you possess cross them and pray for peel of safety if you're not new here hello welcome welcome to the family uh the way the peel off does her liner is she flicks she drags and she hopes for the best so i'm going to get this liner, which is $2, which is probably why I have so many issues trying to get it to match up. Because left eye is a pesky little baby cakes. And because I've already cleaned this section, I know where I want my line to be. So we are just going to follow that line. Aren't we right eye? Yes, peel off. We are going to follow that line. Okay, so I start here. And then lick. That wasn't a bad flick, right eye. And then I drag. And then I just fill in the rest. And then just hope that left eye is on its best behavior today. Left eye did such a good job today, baby gangs. I am, mm, I am, I am so proud of you. And I'm just going to use my guillotine to curl my lashes first. So that my sad, droopy kind of lashes have something for the feathers to stick to. A cute little whoop. Then just a cute little bit of mascara. Now we get to go on to the eye feathers. I've used these ones in a few of my tutorials. They are the ones called Brazier. It is just a fun word to say. Let's say it again. Brazier. And I'm just going to get them in between my pinchy boys and add a line of lash glue and wait for her to get nice and thick. Because as I was doing the mascara on my eyes, I realized that I did not line my bottom lash line so as these dry i'm going to try and coordinate my left hand to draw but still hold these and hope they do not fly away all right so in my left hand i am going to hold the pinchy boys and also a mirror and then i have my color pop gel pot in the name swerve which is just a black one and a tiny little liner brush look at how itty bitty she is 
Doggy with not bark while Pilov is recording. We had a conversation about this puppy. And then I played frisbee with you for hours and you were ever so happy. I thought we discussed this. Close enough. Okay, I'm going to stick them on. So just try and stick them on just above your actual lashes so they do not come off when you take your feathers off. Now that the right feathers are on, the look is really starting to come together. And I am ever so happy with how it is coming. Granted, it is not the easiest look to do. It, it was a challenge. But at the same time, like, I love a good little challenge. I love challenging myself, pushing myself out of my boundaries. After an absolute eternity, we can now bless left eye with some feathers. So once again, just stick them just above your actual lashes. Don't get stuck, pinchy boys. And then just secure them on. Fabulous! Okay, now that, oh, we are getting so close to the final touches and I am just, I just, don't you just love when the makeup look actually like turns out just so good? I look scrumptious. I look scrum diddly umptious. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with foundations. I always do this last because that way if I messy up any of the shadows, all I have to do is wipe off the goggles and not have to worry about the foundations. So I'm using like the worst foundation I've ever experienced in my life. It feels like literal sunscreen going on your skin, but it is all I have in my collection at the moment. So it looks like we're just going to work with it. $7 from Kmart though, so like why am I really complaining? You get what you pay for. Okay, so then I'm just going to do a bit of contouring. I powder contour, so I'm getting my boy marked. And then I just do a fish face. <laughs> then for my nose, I just do a cute little flick and a cute little flick. And as I look at myself, I realize that Pila forgot to do her brows. Genius, Pilo. Absolute genius. No wonder why people think that you had the IQ of an orange. Okay, so I'm just going to get this little gel pot from e.l.f. and a brow brush and I'm just going to fill in my brows. I don't do anything spectacular for brows. I just want them to look nice, thick, fluffy, toppy, just like Cara Delevingne. Just really like make them pop. Now the brows are acknowledged and filled in and just looking a part of the look, not just kind of like the little outcast kid that no one wants to sit and have lunch with or associate with. Pilof wasn't that child. Okay, so now I'm going to go on with my highlighter and this one is called Princess Cut and I just, I love the cute little pink. So I'm just going to get her on my big, what are you, Lux highlight, ooh, because I am luxurious. Oh, this pink is so cute. <gasps> I'm going to look like Neapolitan ice cream after this, yes. And is that not a dream? Okay, and then I'm just going to rub my finger in it. Oh, and then just do a cute little do do And a cute little boo boo. And then just a cute little dust. And then just do a duck face. Just to get the upper lip. Mm, yes! Now that everything is on, there is only one thing left to do. And that is to do the lipsticks. And I am, I am so excited for this one. <gasps> oh. Pilo, you're about to put lipstick on, which means that your lips cannot move, which means that you cannot talk. Okay, come on, silence in three, two, one. Oh, but I just love breaking rules. And now that the lips are on, we are done. And oh, just let me look at myself. Oh, yes. There she is, there she looking. I look stunning. Yes! Pilof, 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 Pilof. I just, I feel so powerful. And that, that is what makeups is all about. Putting it on your face and then like, at the end of it, being able to stand there and be like, I am fabulous. But now that we are looking ever so scrumdiddly umptious, ever so cute, ever so powerful, I feel unstoppable in this makeups. I, I, I feel unstoppable. But also because Pilof is a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTube, so there is only one thing left to do. And that is a sexy, a slow mouse. <laughs> Are done and Pilo's face is looking like every onomatopoeia out there.
there or I guess except for the raspberry like <laughs> isn't exactly a description that I want for this one catch my drift now that the eyes are just oh this is look stressful but at the same time the payoff the highlighter the lips just everything and Pilov has blessed herself with the luxury of playing with some Jeffree Star makeups which she now owns which like oh it isn't on loan or anything I'm not like renting this out this is mine this is Pilov's this is Pilov there is nothing left to do that is it for today's video I look stunning you look stunning everybody looks stunning and you know what we should do we should go out there into the world we should go out there show off our makeup skills show them how stunning we are and make sure that they are aware of it and if they are not aware just be like hello sir i am stunning notice me that kind of thing but also while you're out there do not do not forget what dear mother always say if you can't say something nice say something cruel please don't forget that otherwise she might lock me in that cage again 